previously. Wow, that's just disturbing. Yep. <laughs> and so we go. Hello, friends. My name's Internet, and welcome back to Bear With Me. We are looking for the other batteries, so let's go. Um... Probably should have started after this load screen, but you know what? It's All right. Save point. A save point. Nah, just kidding. What is this, Resident Evil? We have auto save you, dingus. It's a, uh, a, uh, I don't know. Okay. I read a thing that said I should look at all of the paintings and lamps, so that's what I'm gonna do. He accentuated almost reckless brush. Rather than paint with methodical, he instead attempts to convey his inner turmoil. What the hell are you talking about? You're just <laughs> such a caveman. A lamp. Nothing else to it. It shines. I can see where I'm going. But if I can see where I'm going, that means I'll hardly ever get lost. So this lamp is like a beacon, reminding me that wherever I am, I can just look around and I'll find my way back home. Okay. It's a ham, bacon, lettuce, and mozzarella cheese sandwich on pimento bread. It's mounted on my wall and it shines. So it's like a sandwich that's also kind of a lamp. Okay. It's a fishing village, somewhere on the coast of Norway, probably. I'm so glad I got dragged out in the middle of the night to look at the paintings hanging in your house. What else am I going to do, right? Yep. The use of the color green is what makes this painting stand out. You can all- I remember that one. Okay. Yeah, but I read something that said I should look at every painting and every lamp in the house. I don't know why. So, we're going to. My collection of paintings. A miracle of modern technology. There's a drawer under here. If I had a label maker, I would label this Amber Stuff, and I would keep my label maker there. Okay. No, there's a. Open it. Did I not see that before? I guess it is really dark. What's in here? Oh, it's as useful hell. as batteries are. The damn battery. Take it. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. Like right now? But like literally right now? Hey, I got it working. Heck yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, I got an achievement. Wonder if I'm still. One sec. Let me make sure. Hello. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure everything was centered correctly. All right, back up there. Yep. And we're gonna go to the bathroom now that we have the flashlight. Painting. Submerged ruins of an ancient temple. A painting of something or another. It's too small to tell. I can't tell what that is either. It's a waterfall. <coughs> it looks pretty. Another Maybe waterfall? in our world, a happy little bush lives there. Just sitting there between light and dark shades of blue. All right. Someone's got their uh, Bob Ross going. I feel like a lot of these are waterfalls. Based. Don't say. Every time I look at it, I see a beautiful princess. She's bound Aww. to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies. Yep. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who 
who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies. Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? Did the mirror just... To... It's full of uninteresting stuff. Mirror just Used talks. for not washing your <laughs> face, because water is gross in the morning. Ew. Used I... by oh so many French maids. I can take it, apparently. So dark in here. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Eee... Okay. Cleaning stuff. Used to clean around the house. Okay. Take it. No, but nice try, Mom. Aw. Trash can? It's a trash can. Surprisingly, it's full of trash. What? I'm not going through trash. It's just my work ethic. All right, fine. Towels? Pairs of towels just hanging out. What's this thing? Toilet. Where's the money, Lebowski? <laughs> Aren't you a little too Classic young to be quoting? TP found in most bathrooms. What's Aren't there you? left to say that hasn't been published in Science Weekly already? Am I right? You a little young to be quoting the Big Lebowski, though. A painting on the floor. Trying to get out of town, eh? You owe money to the <laughs> art community. Listen here, man. I'll cut you a deal. I'll take on your debt and pay those money-grubbing watercolor pushers. Maybe I'll call you on your debt sometime. Maybe not. What do you say? Eats living on the run. She... Ten-year-old's got an imagination, I'll tell you. It's ya. just one of the many cabinets around the house. Nothing interesting about it, really. Why did I come in here? They're my mom's. I'm not really sure what they're for. All right. Just some stuff I don't really care about. Okay. It's full of bathroom stuff. All right. Lots of creams and powders, also hair gel, a sponge thingy, some kind of paste, and so on. Intended to make you look presentable when applying for a low-income 9-to-5 position to grind away the days. I don't really know what all that means. I picked it up in a movie once. <laughs> it's true, though. Nah, Take. I'm pretty as it is. Aw. Yes, you are. You should really know what this <laughs> is by now, buddy. It's where I take long showers and contemplate life. Also, I sing. I sing in the shower, too. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. I think we came in here literally just to get the uh, feather duster. So, I guess let's leave. Oh, my Jesus. What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I, I, I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. My it's the middle of the night, and girl. the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. Uh, no, I haven't seen him yet. What is happening in this game? This game is terrifying. Next time I start this game up, um, I'm going to let you listen to the intro song. I don't know if you could hear it last time I played with my sister. So I'm going to start it up again. Um... Let's go this way. Really concerned for this child. Pretty sure I wasn't hanging out with a bear when I was 10. Or seeing blood on the wall. I see three anthropomorphic mailboxes dancing to the captivating beats of the J. Summers Jazz Quartet. Oh, you don't say. A painting, or is it? I believe it is. A painting, or is it some sort of inkblot test? No idea. My old trusty lamp. I never walk around this hallway without her. Uh, okay. Carrying a lot of stuff, dude. Um... Ooh, maybe I could use the feather duster to get the key? Come on. Put on the shot. Put on the hole in the wall. I don't think that's how there, it works. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. <sighs> okay. 
I look at all these paintings. I just love if I sure. Are they letting just anyone be a hey? I've it looks from I feel huh. yeah. I think I've looked it's at all these. Small... You know how these. It's not, but the... what is? I think it it will probably such. A... Yep. Oh, there's a farmhouse, and we're gonna go now. <coughs> Mr. Bear. What? The case was spinning out of control so fast I had to hold on to my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint? The Red Man. It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Is that it? Quite the compelling story you've told, man. Uh, hello. Depicting colors contained by various forms and shapes. Look at that lamp, lamping around like there's no tomorrow. You go, lamp. Is it a monkey? Roses in a field? An orange? I'm really bad at appreciating art. Pretty sure it's a waterfall. Someone, somewhere, put their soul and moderate effort into making this. And I hate it. Nothing a little paint thinner can't fix. I've got a sudden urge to play it on stage and destroy it over the drum kit. <laughs> I should tear them in case I need to make a rope to climb down the window. Level 6 sword. A level 6 sword? <laughs> hmm, it has higher damage than my gun. I'm more of a range guy myself. Maybe I can sell it at a shop. Take it. I'll just sell this sword, buy some revives for later. Sure. I should tear them in case I need to make a rope. Okay. Storage space <laughs> reserved for various miscellanea. Okay. Good to know. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? That'd be just cool. some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. Oh. Well, something. It looks like a match in a small metal container. Is it? Did I get it right? <laughs> Books. A book titled Half-Life 3. Oh, I bet it's fantasy. Uh, no. The promise shirt. Go away. Scratching me. It sucks. why you shouldn't let the cat sleep on your clothes. Candy. Hard shell on the outside. <laughs> Sweet on the inside. Metaphors never end with you guys, huh? <laughs> Origami. I have no clue what that is. A wild guess. It's a single copper dime with a printing error. Unique. Extremely rare. Not as valuable as one might think. What? It reminds me of a cocktail recipe. <coughs> Add two, three ice cubes. Pour some liquor over them. Mix it in your stomach. Repeat. I call it the Ted trademarked. Sure. A book titled A Small Car on Top of Me. The Life of a Book. I, um, uh, what? What sort of literature is this? 
This game loves breaking the fourth wall. A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. Room there, a rope. The weakest link in this whole construction. Maybe I could exploit that. Hello? I don't like <coughs> pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. Uh huh. Well, this thing really stands out. Yeah, it does. Pop Brothers small cabinet. The dictionary defines a cabinet as a body of high ranking state officials, typically uh. consisting of the top leaders of the executive branch, usually um. called ministers. There you go. That's what this is. Only small. No. Oh. An empty box. Just think of the possibilities. The size of this box is only matched by its inability to comprehend reality. You know what? Whatever. Wise man once said. <laughs> The windows are the eyes of a house. That's creepy. Uh, see. I've looked at everything now. Low lifes. I guess they are so used to police interrogations. Standing in front of bright lights is where they feel most at home. Well, that's kind Lola, of funny. I guess. Nope. I meant to talk to him. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it. It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> this is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career <coughs> as a lawyer, although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk, although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Okay. Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? No, I'm just asking because I have these two tickets for Wuthering Heights on ice. <laughs> oh, it's just wonderful. The reviews are overwhelmingly positive. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? <laughs> Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, <laughs> see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. What about the red man? You two <coughs> lowlifes heard anything about the red man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Reef King? Tell me what you know, and the next time the Reef King asks me about you two, I'll forget about your whereabouts. We sorted it out with the shark, Snoop. We started a nice little enterprise with them. See, me and John John here have a way with the tourists. The deal is to take them on a nice little tour around our beautiful city that ends in his gambling house. There are numerous attractive locations scattered throughout the city, but sometimes you just have to go that extra mile if you want to experience it the way the locals do. Mm -hmm. For instance, there's a lovely little deli store just off of Peril Street, halfway down to the harbor. Their madelines are to die for. Just pick a spot on their beautiful terrace and enjoy a good book or a romantic evening with that special someone. Yep. Yeah, see? That's right, John John. <laughs> huh. I bet whatever they keep in their wallets, by the end of the day, the shark sends his goons to clean them out when they leave. Am I right? Well, yeah, but that's just his style, see? I bet it is. Why are you here? So, why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've Do seen you. you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. Ooh. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful. Or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the shore pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. 
We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, sure. see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that Oof. anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. True. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Hey. Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Very sure well. Why'd you escape the city, though? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure. And your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man? What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. <coughs> Not you, big guy. I know you can't <laughs> help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. Aw. I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, <clears throat> Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot what? down in the city. Wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. Nah. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. Boy. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Mm. Well, <coughs> you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing. There you go. Now, don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now. Yep. See? Sure. Uh, I got a key now. There's a red cloth We'll here. have to find another way. And I... Use the sword to grab the cloth? No. Oh. Got the parent room key. No. Oh, wait, what if I use this Swiss Army knife on this rope? <coughs> Aha! Grab it. I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Yeah. Right, right, right. Let's leave. Uh, I broke the game. Hello? Oh, there it is. I must have clicked out of it. Oh, Amber, I'm back. Hey, Amber. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. <laughs> so, Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they, mm, totally just found lying <laughs> on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. So is Amber, like, the mayor of this town? Something. Are you even tr Or is she like queen or <coughs> what is she? All right, parents bedroom, here we go. 
the lights are out. Or it's just me. Hey, I can it's go unlocked. in now. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Probably will. <laughs> All his ears twitched. It was so cute. Oh, wow. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. Indeed. This lamp is pretty. So tall and lean and lacy on top. It's like a supermodel lamp. Creepy a dude. painting of some <laughs> guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't. But he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room if he had any. Ugh. I feel like all of these are connected in a way. Like they share a story. I feel like... Okay. It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. Camera? It's one of my dad's cameras. It probably fell down by accident. We should take it. Totally won't get in trouble for this. <coughs> I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. What? Why? It's my parents' closet. Also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. Why did your voice double? It's my parents' closet. Also known as a cliched hide. Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? Sure, why not? It's for sitting down. Like, way down. <laughs> why? It's a decorative curtain. It's so old it was used as a tunic by Caesar's <laughs> accountant. Pretty old. This thing is so dusty. It's like a... It looks like... The thing, um, to, uh, whatever. Ripstick. If you draw with it on your mom's <coughs> evening dress, she'll get, like, really, really mad. Like, volcanic eruption mad. I believe it. For combing your hair. I like my hair more en naturel. You mean, you don't brush it and just wear it whatever way it was when you woke up? Yep, that's the idea. Pretty much what I do. Except I put mine up in a ponytail most times. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. Indeed. Roar here. Big plant. I feel like these should grow in a pond. I could be wrong. The dark room there. I guess that's where we should go. Bed. Mom and Dad's bed. <coughs> or the inside trampoline, as I like to call it. Yep. Pants. Neatly folded in half and thrown over the bed. Alright. I guess let's... Go to the dark room. Oh, look, there's high heels. I bet they make fun of short heels all the time. All right, let's go to the dark room. <sighs> oh. It's a combination lock safe. Let's try to guess the combination, Ted. How hard can it be? Is it one, two, three, four, five? Maybe it's zero, 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 zero. Or, or 74? One, zero, Are you kidding me with this? Okay, you're right, I give up. I bet I know the code. I bet it's 10, seven. Zero, seven. There we go, it was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these get? are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Extremely breakable, especially when thrown or dropped against a hard surface. Yep. If I had a sharp piece of bamboo and some sugar water, I could lure fireflies inside and use them as a makeshift lamp. Ingenious! You know your house has electricity. <laughs> a book titled Developing for Dummies. I guess developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. An undeveloped roll of film. Not much else to say. Alright. Photo developing stuff. Just a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Film enlarger.
nothing happened. There's something missing. Like maybe the piece of pa paper? It's some enlarger thingy. My dad explained it to me, but I might have fallen asleep while standing up. That's <laughs> how boring that was. It's an empty image filled with, um, some silver dust. You put it in the machine over there, and then some other stuff. Then you get photos of my school recital. Can I take it? All right. Duct tape. It's duct tape. It's used to tape ducks? A lot of stuff duct tape is good for. <laughs> Except when you're moving. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a <laughs> flagpole. Good thing you didn't hear you. Just some canisters filled with some unidentified liquids. Cool. Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it, like water or fire. Fire. My mom uses the same one to wash Ted. <coughs> what? That's not true. I have a shower in my office. Oh, you do, do you? Big ass bottles. Big ass bottles. Step right up, folks. Witness the amazing bottle twins. Language, child. It has measuring units on the side. <laughs> Not that I would know anything about that. I'm ten after all. It's just a tap. Lights. Guess this room isn't so dark after all. Inert pinchers. Used to pinch things. Okay. Used to develop photos. Then you hang them up and let them dry. Fascinating stuff. All right. Can I use this film strip? Are you even trying? Yeah. Um. Come on. A little larger. Um. Uh. Learning how to develop photos. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. We can get it from that machine over there. You know okay. how to use that thing. Not yet, <laughs> but I was voted most likely to figure stuff out in my school once. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's use the film enlarger. I think I've got everything going. It'll work. There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Okay. <laughs> I am out of coffee. That is very sad. Oh. My fuck. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find mom and dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. We found a piece of his robe earlier and now this photo. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Um, uh, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie and see if she can tell us something about the fabric. Yeah, you're right. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. So, how have you been lately? That was right terrifying. Oh. <coughs> Hello. I'm the red man. Why 
Why am I the red man? Go this way? Why am I the red man? Very confused. Go to Amber's room. Hope I don't scare Millie. Why would I attack Millie? just happened why would I attack Millie Well, Rusty ain't gonna trust us anymore, that's for sure. Millie, you okay? Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him, the red man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, cause he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, Millie. We're here now. You're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What about Millie? Are we gonna leave her alone? What if the red man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and surrenders to local authority. Millie, are you gonna be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful out there. There's a nail on the floor. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. Sure. Can we close this? It's just a window. Don't... I guess not. Okay, um, I think my video, my uh, audio is starting to drop out again. Um, I'm actually going to end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Good night, signing out. Bye.